Right guys, we're back for another Dokkan battle video and we've got brand new information regarding who the next Dokkan Fest will be for JP. Of course at this point it's been confirmed that Goten and Trunks are coming to Global and they will be the final Dokkan Fest before the anniversary. But again, I'll be using so many sources from uh, this guy, I'm not going to pronounce his name because I'm probably going to botch it up. Of course, Raspy as well gives me a translation of a brand new free-to-play unit. And then Guresh. So check those guys out on Twitter. Um, but for now, we'll close this tab out. So we're getting a brand new Kid Gohan Dokkan Fest, which is pretty... pretty. Is it hype? Uh, I feel like it is, just because, of course, it's Gohan. Everyone likes Gohan. Um, and to me, this appears, or it seems to be the Gohan from the Garlic Jr. arc. So it's now confirmed that we're not getting a Garlic Jr. Dokkan Fest, a Kid Gohan Dokkan Fest. And I think it now makes it more and more likely that Garlic Jr. will be the side banner unit will be featured alongside this Gohan Dokkan Fest and not the actual Dokkan Fest. I'm actually really hyped about that just because I know, I know, I know a, lot, a lot of people are going to be upset about Garlic Jr. not getting a Dokkan Fest, but like Garlic Jr. getting a Dokkan Fest before Krillin, before uh, Yamcha, Tien, I just feel like that's that's kind of like shameful or like downright shouldn't happen. So I'm, I'm kind of glad that he's not a Dokkan Fest, but I know some people will be upset about this. Um, the next bit of news or the next teaser that they dropped in game of course is that we're getting a new story event now again i i've not watched the dead zone film uh i watched the entirety of dragon ball z in the sub of course the garlic junior arc does take place in that but I honestly i don't remember what happens to me this does seem to be the garlic junior and gohan from the dead zone film this is, seems to indicate that uh, but this gohan I believe is a part of the Garlic Jr. arc. I remember the Garlic Jr. arc here, pulled it up, or the Garlic Jr. saga takes place after the Freezer saga. So of course, Freezer is defeated by Super Saiyan Son Goku. And then it takes place just before the Trunks arc, so before Trunks shows up on Earth. And again, this is actually kind of important as we'll get onto later on. Um, this event will drop a brand new free to play unit, another Piccolo, it's a shame. I think maybe we could have seen something like uh, I was going to say another Krillin, but Krillin's got quite a lot of love this year. So maybe, again, Piccolo isn't too bad of an option, just because, again, we want to try and expand Namekians. And with the same name update, you can now run multiple same name Piccolos, and that will really help out Dokkan Fest Piccolo, who requires another Namekian to be run on the team until he can transform, right? And that Piccolo is actually still very good uh, defensively. Offensively, I think he has aged, but defensively, he's still very good with his healing, his stacking defense his 4C super attack ability. So again, thank you to Raspy, because the the user here does tell us what the Piccolo does. So attack and defense 70% at the start of turn. Then there's a Gohan Youth, and this is very important, because I was thinking it would be Gohan Kid, but then of course, because this takes place after the Freezer Saga, it will be named Gohan Youth, I think, and not Kid Gohan, who I think the latest iteration is what? The Namek Saga? I'm not really going to count this because this is a movie. Um, but yeah, I think this, the Namek Saga is the latest iteration of a Kid Gohan in game. So it will be Gohan Youth. And of course, these guys are all Cell Saga based. So again, that's important. But getting back onto the free to play Piccolo. When Gohan Youth is on the team, he gains an additional 70% attack and defense. And of course, he supports a brand new category uh, Events of or Events in Heaven by Tuki. 30% attack and defense. And this is where we'll pull up Goresh here. Uh, again, thank you to Goresh, Raspi, and. Um, the user, I, I don't know his name, but he, you know what I mean. Um, the new category is called Heavenly Event. Uh, Gresh assumes that the event is going, sorry, the, that the category is going to include every character that has done something in the other world, such as Train with King Kai. It really doesn't know. I mean, I'm not too hyped about this just because I wish Dokkan would employ the gold, the angel, the physical angel golden freezer strategy with new Dokkan Fest, and that's give them a leader skill which supports two pre-existing categories, right? I mean, Otherworld Warriors and Revived Warriors is obviously a great leader skill for that Angel Golden Freezer just because Revived Warriors is such a good category. Otherworld Warriors isn't there yet, but of course it, it supplements it well with each other, right? And I feel, I feel like this could have been an opportunity to maybe make go, this new Gohan a youth leader and an exploding rage leader. Those two categories I wouldn't say are, aren't the greatest at the minute. So combining those two would have helped, but um, it is what it is. Uh, and again, we don't know the we don't know the leader skill for sure, right? I mean, this could, for all we know, this could be a part two LR leader skill. I don't think there'll be a part two LR though, just because next month will be Tanabata. Typically, we receive a, a part two LR there, and there's so many different banners which come out. So I think this will be just the Dokkan Fest banner. 
Again, who knows, maybe Garlic Jr. will be a separate banner will, who will come as a part two, but that's yet to be stated. Um, and that's pretty much it. And then, of course, we get the brand new Super Battle Road stages, which were teased. Now, I don't know if this is Extreme Super Battle Road or if this is regular Super Battle Road. I haven't... Um, I can't I, I can't read Japanese, right? So I don't know. Um, if you take a look at Gohan Yutho, just very quickly. Again, he'll occupy a new spot. As for his typing, it really doesn't matter. I mean, this guy is not the greatest. And this guy isn't really a card, a, a, a character you can obtain anymore, I don't think. So, um, I don't know, like AGL tech into physical. It doesn't matter um, <laughs> what he will be. If you take a look at um, the categories that this guy is on. He has hybrid Saiyans. Of course, the brand new Dark Confess Gohan will be part of hybrid Saiyans. Goku's family youth uh will he be a part of bond and master and disciple i mean maybe just because piccolo is in that film right I, I feel like you could maybe throw that in i don't think he'll be a part of rapid growth and of course he should pick up exploding rage because he does look a bit angry there to me um what other categories could he pick up realistically um shoot i i, I don't know um of, co of course the brand new category the was it was it even called again sorry heavenly event category he'll pick up that category as well i presume but, I mean, other than that, I'm, I'm not really sure. Um, actually, I'm going I'm to make a cut here. I'm going to try and pull up all the categories and we'll see what he can be a part of. Okay, so I've pulled up all the categories. We are back. Uh, well, let's take a look. No, 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 no. Of course, we're going to hybrid Saiyans. Um, giant. I don't believe Gohan goes giant form in that arc, so no, he won't be a part of that. Movie bosses, pure Saiyans, Namekians, Future Saga, full power. Yeah, I reckon he will make full power. Um... Dragon Ball Seekers, again, this is one I'm not sure if he goes and tries to collect the Dragon Balls in this arc. So I'm not sure, but I don't think he would be a part of that arc. I don't remember him trying to collect the Dragon Balls in that arc, but I could always be wrong. Again, my memory is very hazy on the Garlic Jr. arc itself. Yeah, of course, he'll be a part of Goku's family. He'll be a part of youth. Siblings Bond, no. Super Saiyan with the rival, Cell Saga, Kamehameha. Does he perform? Again, I'm not sure if he performs a Kamehameha in that arc. I don't think so. Um... But we'll have to wait and see. I'm just clicking all over the place. Uh, no, no. Reve uh, sorry, Exploding Rage. As I mentioned before, he will be on Exploding Rage. Revenge? I don't believe so. No. Could he be on All That Struggle? I feel like he could make this category. This category needs help anyway. Like the leader, the LR, Blue Kai, and Goku in Evolution, Blue Vegeta aren't the greatest leader for the team. Uh, who knows? Maybe he is a, this is a secondary leader skill. Which would help. Saviors, is he a savior? Hmm. Uh, again, I, I really am just taking guesses at the minute because I don't know what happens in the arc. So I'm, I'm going to say yeah. I kind of feel like he is a savior. Um, because, I, of course, I believe he's the one who sends Garlic Jr. back into the dead zone, right? Once Garlic Jr. foolishly opens it for some reason. Um, and that's it. Uh, connected Hope? No, I don't think so. Gifted Warriors. I doubt he'd been gifted war. So it looks like he's going to be on around 7 or 8. Again, just very quickly, if take a look at his links. No prepareful battle. So this can be very scary. Um, they need to give Gohan prepareful battle. Or they just do something like, I don't know, give him shocking speed and then give him some sort of like key support. Because of course, I mean, hybrid Saiyans are so big anyway. I mean, when STR Ultimate Gohan gets his easier, he will be another hybrid Saiyans leader. And... He has shocking speed. I'm hoping they give him two key upon his easier, but we don't know. Uh, as for, it's just, it, I suppose it honestly just depends on what the heavenly event category entails, right? I mean, is it going to consist of mainly shocking speed characters, mainly prepare for battle characters? We don't know. Um, so, I mean, that's pretty much it. I don't really want to go too much into it because I don't know. I expect, uh, let's just take a look. So, this is the 27th today. Um, I expect what? The, the Twitter preview could honestly go up tomorrow, right? And then download as well and we'd get him on the 29th i think i don't think they'd wait next week to show his information right so i, I reckon we, we may find out tomorrow what he does his super attack animations etc and what garlic jr is as well because a lot of people are now kind of sad that garlic jr isn't a doe confess but it is what it is um but that's pretty much the end of it i don't believe um it's been mentioned if whether this is extreme to a battle road or regular to a battle road. Again, I'll make another cut. I'll see if I can find any information and we'll return. Okay, we're back. So I didn't actually find any information about whether it will be extreme to a battle road or to a battle road. I scoured Twitter and the Dolcom Reddit. Just, it was teased in VJump as well that we're getting 10 new stages because of course we're getting that brand new 
Trunks and Bulma LR. Um, but I, I pulled this up because I think this is important to, to mention. Um, and again, credits to Kawaii. So there seemed to be some sort of database error where it's now showing every, like pretty much every information to anything. So like character rates, um, the, the next, uh, the next and upcoming banners for global, um, character link skill percentages, right? And so we have this, the banner leaked. I believe the only change from JP is that they've swapped Angel Golden Freezer for Gogeta. Of course, Angel Golden Freezer just appeared for global, um, on the GT Goku and Vegeta Dokkan Fest banners. I fully expect SS4 Gogeta to return on JP as well for the Gohan banner. And again, this is very interesting because um, as the user Ever91 goes on to mention, the, there are discounts on this banner, 25, 30 and 45, and it's guaranteed SSR. I believe the final, yeah, the guaranteed one will be featured SSR. So <laughs> should you guys sell me for this? Uh, it's tough because like for me, like I have zero, I've like literally, I have like 10 stones right now. Um, so I'm probably not going to summon. I'm going to try and save as much as I can before the anniversary hits. I think if you have over like 500 stones, 300 stones, it's definitely worth it. You can walk away with like, you could, you could walk away with Gogeta. You could walk away with this guy. who's probably like the best support unit in the game. Go to the trunks. I have at number one is the best TUR at the minute. It's either one or three, right? It's one of them. Um, and we still got some decent solid options. Like go to the trunks is still really good. Uh, this guy, he's solid in long events, so if you don't have him, you know, that's always a good option. Goten's actually very slept on, he's very underrated, he's very good. And then these two are okay, I mean, you're good when you go into Boo Tanks, sorry, not Boo Tanks, Boo Han, but that's turn 5. And you're just kind of mid, you've been completely replaced by the physical easy A Super Saiyan through Goten. So, that's the only bit of news, or Dokkan news that we have. Uh, Again, let me guys know if you're excited for a Garlic Jr. themed celebration and whether you guys are excited for a Dokkan Fest Gohan, Kid Gohan, Youth Gohan. But thank you for watching. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you in the next one.